Good day. I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. We're heading down to the Ball Creek Shelter. So, let's go and have a look. So here we are, we made it to the Ball Creek Shelter. Let's have a look around. It's one of the old Astol shelters made out of wood. And the bunk beds are big enough for two comfortable each. And there's another set of bunk beds on this side. So you're looking at it's about an eight person shelter. And that's another sign, it's one of the older style. We've got the actual bench on the inside. And this is a great idea. I like these. I, I don't know why they're getting rid of them and put the board in the cross to sleep more people, but they are. But you've got the bench here, really sensible. We've got the ladders going up, the bunk beds. Again, we've got a broom here. They've got a little dustpan and a hand brush here. The uh, rake, there's the rake over there, and I've actually got an ash uh, pan there too, which is good. So remember, clean up after yourselves so it's nice and respectable for the next person to get here. So let's walk up this way to the dunny. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, a dunny is an outdoor toilet, and the ones on the Bilbleman track are drop toilets and they're composting so they're non-flushing so when you're using these toilets if your person likes to use wet wipes you're gonna have to take them with you and ladies if it's that time in the month unfortunately you've got to carry that out with you too you can only really just drop the toilet tissue down here if you put any chemicals down these composting toilets, it will destroy the composting and you'll end up with maggots and flies and it'll end up stinking. And that's one thing we don't want. And this is your dunny. That's it. And toilet bowl. Now toilet bowl is not supplied. That is some of the uh, trail angels, other hikers, um, the volunteers on the track who come and clear the track. They'll sometimes leave them behind, so you're going to have to remember always carry your own toilet paper. And this one, I'll come over here first so we don't have to walk all the way back up. We've got a second firing there. And you can see a nice little pitch beside there for the tent. And when I say the word tent, I mean your average two person hiking tent. So this one, you could probably get two on here quite, quite easily, one behind the other. The ground is a bit hard and a bit wobbly and this one has an ant's nest on it. And the ants here are a bogger. Could just in the bush there a bit there's two beautiful trees I used to hang my hammock from and I came back a couple of weeks later and there was two giant ant hills there and they'd taken over the area and the area there the reason I chose that was because the ground area was all cleared naturally so there was nothing I had to do just leave no trace we've got another area there for comfortable one tent you could probably squeeze uh, a three person tent on that and easily on this one if you're a small family and you bring your, your kids with you or one of your children and just behind the second one we have a nice flat area you could probably fit two maybe three tents in this area 
plenty of room. And the ground is fairly decent. It is up and down a little bit, but in general it's fairly level. And with a decent sleeping mat, you'll have no trouble here. And we'll carry on down this little bit. And there's another decent one, big enough for comfortable. I'd say you could fit two hiking tents in there, quite comfortable. The ground is, like I said, the same as the other one, a little bit uneven. We do have ants building a mound, so personally, it's not one I would use. But if you get stuck, actually filming this near the end of spring here in WA. Look at these beautiful flowers we have here. All the small wildflowers, all around this one pitch. This would have been a nice little pitch for just a single tent here. But not at the moment while the wildflowers are out. This whole area, you're going to get ants. No matter where you set your tent up, you are going to get ants. So if you're the same as me and you use a bivy, and you're going to want a bivy with a, uh, a bug net on it to stop them getting into you or even use your permethrin and treat it so that will help deter them and we'll come back over to the same size as the dunny now that's more flowers there over here we've got more tent pitches that's Across here, not going to step on any of the plants. Now, if you wanted to, this small part here, you could fit a tent there quite comfortably, and very comfortably, you could fit another one next to it here. And if you wanted to, you could have a group of three all together, so you could have one, two. And a small one here. So plenty of tent pitches so far. And we're still this side of the shelter. There's more on the other side of the shelter. Now you've got this area you can use. Which is big enough for... i say on the level bits you probably get two tents on the level bits here. The parts have been cleared on the pitches. Look at the view behind. Isn't that just fantastic? And the sound of the birds. Now as we're walking back down this way, you can see this one's got two water tanks. But because it's so close to the Discovery Centre, this shelter gets used a lot by people. It's only a 2.6 kilometre walk from the Discovery Centre car park. So please be sparing with the water. Only use what you actually need, don't waste it. Because people could come in here from doing a double hutter, coming from south to north. <coughs> and be completely out of water and they could need it to help them get the rest of the way back to the car or to finish their end to end so it could save a life and before we walk past we've got an area here right in the middle you could fit a tent there nice and comfortable and we've got another fire pit here with the logs around to sit on and where my pack is up here You'll see there's another picnic bench on the outside. Spent many, many days and nights on these picnic benches here. Let's take you over to this one. 
We've got another pitch there that can be used as a pitch for your tent. Nice and level and cleared. We have another one here, which is a bit of a bowl shape, but still you could get a comfortable position with your tent on there. Now these two trees a nice space in between for a hammock. So if you're going to put a hammock, make sure you've got at least two inch tree protectors so you don't damage the bark on the trees. But that's a nice spot. You get to see people heading from south to north coming down that way. Over the creek and into the shelter. And you also get to see people heading from north doing the opposite, going through and heading south towards Albany. And then we've got another, at least two pitches here could be used for your tent. We've got this one and behind the trees that I use for my hammock. Let's carry on exploring. Just lovely around here. If you're a beginner, this is a uh, good one to come to. It's not so steep. Right. It's steep enough to get a bit of practice on. It's like today, I've just come down here to make this video, but I've got a full pack there. Because in a couple of days, I'm heading down to Balling up. And I'm going to continue from Banning up down to Donnelly River this weekend coming. Now here we go, another pitch here. Fairly nice. That's a nice one. I pitched one of my tents in there one night. Let's keep going. There's more. There's another one right over here in the shade. A little bit less even than the last one. But like I said, you've got some nice shade here. Got the kangaroos out today. Not that every day, but I've seen a few today, should I say. And here again, we've got another decent size. You could probably squeeze two on there. Their track if anybody take one down here and they made one. Let's go and have a look. No, not by the looks of it, it's just it could be an animal track started in. People come down just to have a look and explore. It's worth a look. Well, I haven't been counting how many tent pitches are here today. Uh, there's quite a few, a lot more than any other shelter I've been to. Uh, there's a nice one there. And there's uh, areas on the opposite side, let's go over. That's the old road in where when you come to do work on the shelter they're actually able to get down here with their trucks and that's the only time wheels are meant to come down here got some more beautiful flowers in there don't know what they are but they look, they look like little feathers they're just fantastic if anyone knows what they are let me know leave a comment Oh, another nice one in the shade. I'll get rid of some of the honky nuts. That's fairly level. There's one they really you're going to prefer to have a ground sheet to protect the bottom of your tent. So still a nice little pitch. Another one next, but I think the. Uh, 
again the answer comedy with this one. Connect to the track. You could use that if I put it here, but again the ants have got it. And this one here where you could probably squeeze two tents on this here. It's mm, fairly level. Fairly nice. Now uh, this area with so much being clear. I don't think you're gonna have a problem with finding somewhere to pitch your tent or lay out your your bivy. And also there's uh, some trees, quite a few trees that you can hang your hammock from. And like I said, main, make sure you've got some uh, tree protectors to protect the bark so you don't damage the trees or the bark. Oh, that's Boar Creek Shelter. I hope you enjoyed the video and it's shown what we've got here at Boar Creek Shelter or what they've got. Great little place to come for just a little walk out, have a picnic and walk back home. So if you enjoyed the video, on cue the plane's coming, if you've enjoyed the video and you got something out of it and you're not subscribed already, please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell next to it and select all and do the thumbs up button, the like button. The heavy like I get, the better it does in helping me go up the list and keeping my channel going. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.